There is a fundamental difference, for me at least, between a team that has no talent and a team that has talent uh, and is rebuilding. And I don't think that could possibly explain or highlight that situation better, the, the latter, that is, of the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're not a team without talent. In fact, I, I quite honestly think this team is in the conversation for having quite a few pieces that nobody gives them credit for. Let's talk about James Robinson. Had over 1,000 rushing yards last year. Also ran for seven touchdowns. Okay. The Jaguars, not to mention the fact, are in line for Trevor Lawrence. This is going to be very interesting, people. This is going to be very interesting because I truly believe that with Trevor Lawrence at quarterback, the Jaguars are going to start rebuilding rather quickly with two firsts, two seconds, multiple picks, and the later rounds. They're going to be rebuilding rather quickly, uh, and I think it all comes down to really how fast they can get that offensive line squared away, how comfortable uh, that really a rookie quarterback in, 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 in Trevor Lawrence can become rather quickly because if he gets quick, he, he gets comfortable rather quickly, they're going to start rebuilding rather quickly. And when I see rebuilding, it's not like uh, the Jaguars were uh, one of the more talented teams, but they have got some dudes on this team. We talk about LaVisca Chenault, who, by the way, I think is a better and more polished version of Cordero Patterson. Had to say it. I'm sorry. I think, uh, especially when he was coming out in the, in the NFL draft, uh, uh, Patterson was, I believe it was 24. 14, 2015, doesn't matter. But when you consider the fact that as a wide receiving core that's got some guys, LaVisca Chenault, um, I believe, I can't remember if it was DJ Chark or Keelan Cole left, but I mean, still having DJ Chark, uh, still having another second round pick, Chris Conley, I believe is still there. Tyler Eifert is a respectable tight end. Um, but from top to bottom, this entire Jaguars team is not only respectable, they are. Uh, in my mind, in the next two to three years, a dark horse contending team because of the fact of how fast they are going they are going to rebuild. We talked about their defense too. Miles Jack is one of the best outside linebackers in the NFL. Joe Sherbert, 140 tackles last year, really don't need to say anything else. You talk about Josh Jones. Uh, this just top to bottom. If this team, if this Jaguars team can also get some pressure on the inside, we talk about Dwayne Smoot, who led the team with five and a half sacks last year. Okay, that's fine. But they had no edge presence, and it's been a long time since the Jaguars have had any edge presence to speak of that really makes them relevant. So if they can do a couple things, number one, if they can get Justin Herbert comfortable, or I keep saying Justin Herbert, I'm so sorry, Trevor Lawrence, if they can get Trevor Lawrence comfortable, it's going to be something to watch, especially for how well I think he's going to acclimate to the NFL. And I hear the haters, I hate him. Oh, he only won one national title at Clemson. Okay. Oh, well, he didn't really come into himself as, as the dominating force that he is. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. He's a dominating quarterback that I think is going to take the NFL by storm, uh, or at least has the potential to. And he's got the weapons now, uh, at least in terms of the running backs and the wide receivers there uh, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And they've already made some moves in this offseason. So um, when it comes down to it, the Jacksonville Jaguars are not only a team that's going to be rebuilt rather quickly, they're going to be in contention rather quickly as well. So watch out for this team because uh, they've already got some pieces. A quarterback can make all the difference and Urban Meyer, a new head coach as well that can do wonders as well. He can really, he, he can modify men, um, modify, motivate men. Sorry, I can't, I can't talk today. Please forgive me. Anyway, point is, watch out for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're, they're rebuilding quickly uh, and they've got the draft ammo. They've got, uh, they've got weapons on offense and they're going to get the best quarterback in the draft so uh watch out for the jacksonville jaguars and also remember to, to like and subscribe down below and leave leave a comment all right it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support with that go out there and have a great night